Hello. Hi, Gina. How are you doing today? I'm good. How are you? Absolutely fantastic. What's life like out there in California right now? It's really sunny right now. Well, that, 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 that's California right there then. <laughs> yeah. For you to be in this moment of now, I, it, it's got to be amazing because you, you are the next generation of not only a fan of music, but the creation of music. What is it like for you to be in, 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 that, in that way right now? It's really cool and it's it's such like a an honor to have all these people like listening and watching and stuff like that. So it's it's really special and I'm really grateful that I get to be a part of it and not just be a fan. Like I, I get to be part of it too. So it's it's really special and I'm really grateful. When you say the word watching, that was the one thing that scared me away from television. I enjoyed being on television, but but it was being recognized out in public that that cuz I'm a radio guy. I am not used to people recognizing me in public. But for are they starting to recognize you now? Um I haven't been recognized <laughs> anywhere. Um it would be cool, but but I haven't um just kind of laying low you know (laughs) chance the rapper and you are both from illinois what are the chances of that happening he is like one of the the nicest guys ever and he is super super talented so there's a lot of talent coming out of illinois yeah if i do say so myself well there's also a lot of talent coming out of nile as well because i love the fact that that he is where he is because he's in that place where he can share the journey he's been here before he knows the pressure that you're under gina Yeah. And he's really empathetic in that way. He's always been super understanding and and him being in a competition like this really like helps us too, you know, because it's it's stressful and it's scary. And he he really gets that. So it's, it's really helpful to have him. I've been a fan of NBC's The Voice since day one, and and I look at it as being a gigantic music festival where creative minds come together. Do you go through the same emotions that it's like, wow, here are all these creative people? Yeah, it's it's really intense as much as it is fun and exciting, you know, because you're meeting all these people and and every single person on the show is so unbelievably talented and they all deserve to be there. So it's really exciting and, and it's really fun to like get to meet all those those people and, and other musicians when you're not normally in a position to to be around that many singers at all at once. All right, do you feel like a student with, with so much talent around, everybody's got something to share with you so that you can get stronger and greater at, at, at sharing your art? Absolutely. And people on the show are so generous with their knowledge of music and um, being a singer. Everyone is really so helpful. And, and all the songs, you're constantly like running them all the time and being able to get notes from other singers or even singers who know your voice is one of the most important parts of singing on the show, I think, because like um, the songs and the arrangements and things like that wouldn't be the same without all the other contestants helping out in in my experience. Like I, I genuinely think that that's one of the biggest parts of, of singing on the show away from radio i've been a mobile entertainer for like god 30 years and to 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 hear that you helped set up your father's dj stages just i love that because you you know how djs are it's got to be perfect i mean we've got to be able to to move around Mm -hmm. it's super fun and it was like something that um i loved doing i don't get to do it anymore only because um my dad's in illinois and i'm Mm -hmm. in sacramento now but it was like one of my favorite things and it really helped me in doing my own gigs when my dad isn't around. Like I know all the electrical things yes. and, and set up stuff. So it was actually really helpful for me to, to learn how to do that. So I'm really grateful for my dad for teaching me. Well, it's such a great learning tool because, I mean, you have to know, first of all, what does the room sound like? And, and a lot of people don't understand that, but but there are rooms that are too, too echoey. There, there are rooms that, that, that have too much stuff in it, and, and, and you can't, I mean, how much bass am I going to put into the speakers? Where am I going to put the light show at? Mm-hmm. Oh, my God, they've given me a little area. Mm-hmm. It's, especially working on the show, and, like, the setup is so different, and, and you're not, being a part of the people who who set the things up and you just want to like jump in and and be like what about this but you're just there to sing so you're not you're not part of the the sound crew which is 
an interesting an interesting time yeah. but it's so much different because like obviously the equipment and everything on the show is insane and so nice <laughs> so I would be that person on uh, that visits the the stage for NBC's The Voice, and the first thing I would want to do is I'd want to meet Paul, the music director, and then I would want to go meet the light directors because the lighting and everything is just so perfect. Right, they're so they're so talented, and the attention to detail on the show is absolutely incredible, and they really make us look so nice and make us sound beautiful. So. It's really them as much as it is like us singing. Does it sound different when you're on that stage versus what we're getting on our side? And the reason why I bring that up is because in radio, yeah, okay, we, we have a voice, but it, it's, a, it's a compressed voice. There's a lot of things that the engineers do to our voices before it makes its way out here. Yeah, it definitely does because um, for, I think, blinds and battles... It's like the speakers are on the floor. Yeah. If you can kind of see those like the grates on the floor. So it's definitely like an interesting sound. Um, but I think it sounds pretty similar. But obviously there, it, there's just a lot more background noise like on stage than there is uh, on TV. So Absolutely. So away from music, what do you do? What is what is your escape out there in that beautiful state of California? Um, I really like to like read and I'm, I'm a big fan of running. But like my job, I just do gigs and stuff so I, I'm kind of doing music 24 7 you know I totally get that that's part of the journey I mean that's what I love about mm-hmm. you know artists that can go and set up their stages go and do a performance it's a new audience every night and and you learn how to embrace that yeah it's really nice and and I've been gigging since I was 14 like I've been working on things like that and I've had a lot of growing pains and, and things like that so I feel like I've really found my groove now of like how I want to do my gigs and and how I like to sing and set my equipment up it's just like I feel like I'm really in my my pocket right now for that kind of thing so and I really enjoy it I I love singing in crowds especially after COVID like I like to be around the people and, and sing to people and be able to be in that kind of space Oh, I totally get that. I to, I always always talk with people on on the podcast on iHeartRadio that that I need to be with people at all times because I I pull from their energy just as much as they pull from me. Mm-hmm. For sure. When you're on that live stage, how do you keep yourself well focused in on on the out? Because I've I've always called it moving the room. You you can't stay in one zone of music. You've got to be able to keep it fresh and moving forward. Do, is it okay to break up your set list? What do you do? For live performances, I really, I want to be entertaining to the crowd, whether it be like at a hotel bar, at like a regular like nighttime bar, if we're inside, outside, I really try to match the vibes as much as possible. So I'll change my set list depending on the area or like, sorry, there's a car. (laughs) (laughs) Um, I live on like a ranch, so there's like lots of trucks going everywhere. But (laughs) um, I feel like I do definitely cater my set list depending on like what it's for i'll sing country songs if that's what the vibe is like i'll sing like all dance pop like i'm really open to anything i i like to sing i like to entertain um and if there is a request i will i will take requests sometimes (laughs) because sometimes people like just really want to hear certain things and, Mm -hmm. and i'm part of my job is to you know Give the people what they want. Absolutely. So, Absolutely. Uh, yeah. you, you talk about being on that farm. I, I grew up out there in the state of Montana and Wyoming, and I used to take my guitar out there on the haystacks, and I pretended I was live in concert with 50,000 people watching me. Do you go out into those fields? Um, I definitely, I don't think the, because like, we have horses, and I don't think the horses really like when you <laughs> sing. <laughs> so, I, I don't really, but I, I like to have my window open a lot. I'm a big like outside person. But um, I'm for some reason I'm really like finicky about like my instruments, yes. like being outside of the case and anywhere besides my room or like at a venue. I'm really like like protective over them, and I want to make sure they stay like really nice and clean and stuff. So I don't really take it outside, but I definitely have my windows open a lot. So that's about as close as I get. Well, I'm totally with you then because I have an Ibanez Flying V that I've had since I was 17 years old, and and oh. and, and there's no way that guitar is ever going to see <laughs> the light of day out there. If if it's performed, it's got to be inside a building, not mm-hmm. outside. Mm-hmm. I agree. 
Mm. I agree. What are the dreams? What What are your aspirations? I mean, at 18 years old, the world belongs to you. Um, I think there's like a lot of different ways that this could go and, and the opportunities are very open-ended and, and there's so many things that could happen, you know? Um, but I, I would really like to songwrite, whether it be for, for me or for other people. I love to write no matter what the genre is. I just want to make things. I want to create melodies and lyrics and stuff like that. And I, I think obviously the, the overarching dream would to be like, would I want to be like the front man yeah. and be able to have my own concerts and make records that are fully f- like fleshed out projects and like go on tours and things like that. I feel like that is the the biggest dream I could possibly have. And I hopefully can make it come true. Mm-hmm. But um, I really do love songwriting and I also really love like audio engineering things. Really? So I think I think it would be cool to to go to school for that as well. If if uh, music music things didn't really work out, but I'm gonna full speed ahead on on the music thing and and just really dive completely into it because I feel like that's the only way that I'll I'll ever know if it's for me. You know. Absolutely. What what an amazing vision and dream. And 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 then now to put it out there in the universe. I mean that now it's time to really watch you grow. What what is a website that listeners can go to to find out more about you and to sit and follow you and and to just really grow with you? So, um you can find me on uh, Gina Miles official on Instagram and TikTok. And I do have um an EP already out called nice. Who Are You? Um, and it's on all streaming platforms like Spotify, Apple Music, and or all the things. It's it's there. So um, you can take a listen to that if, if you have the spare time. <laughs> Please come back to the show anytime in the future. The door is always going to be open for you. Thank you so much for having me. I, I really, really, really appreciate it. And you're so lovely. And it was awesome talking to you. Well, you be brilliant today, okay? <laughs> Thank you, you too.